So today we're going to be rebuilding the worst team in baseball. I don't want to hear this thing about the Orioles. I don't want to hear about this thing about the Tigers. The Pittsburgh Pirates, honestly, just they don't look good. And the reason that they, I would say that they're some, they're like just not talked about like the worst team because they play in the NL Central and the NL Central is not good. So at least they can squeak out a couple wins here and there. But when you look at the Pirates, it just seems like it's a never ending rebuild. What is this team doing? What's the plan? Is there even a plan? That's what I'm trying to figure out with this team. So today, the Pittsburgh Pirates rebuild, and I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And of course, get in the comment section. Do you agree with me? Do you think the Pirates are the worst team in baseball? Honestly, the Tigers, they at least seem to be slowly building up some pieces. You've got a great, I wouldn't say like a great farm system, but they've got a good farm system. They've got, it seems like they're starting to pick up a couple players that are, you know, slowly building up the team. I mean, even the Orioles, they have a good couple good players to kind of look forward to. I just, I just don't know what's going on with the Pirates. I really don't. Exclusive negotiations. I didn't bring back Kayla and I didn't bring back Archer as well as Derek Holland. Those were the three negotiations that I had. I didn't bring any of them back because they're not part of the Pirates organization. I've also released Trevor Williams and Socrates Brito. Both of them are not with the organization anymore. Pretty sure Brito went to the Yankees. I'm like 99% sure of that. I'm going to double check to see what other players have left the Pirates and uh, go from there because I kind of want to see what this team looks like without the players you know, that they, they let go of. So I'm going to double check. I may miss somebody that they let go of that I end up bringing back, but, um, this team's not good. I think the big thing for season one is try to find some cheap players that we can bring in. That'll help the team. You know who that's going to be. I don't really know. I'm looking at the pitching options that are available. Not too many good ones, obviously Kayla Rosenthal, but like, I don't really want to bring them in now. I don't really want to spend a lot on pitching. I just don't like that's a big thing I want to do or try to avoid with this team and uh, looking at free agency it's just not a good free agency that's another thing too so spending big this free agency probably not the move probably be cheap pick up a couple like one year players that maybe we could trade at the deadline and then make the moves from there I feel like trades are going to be our friend in this rebuild you know we've got a couple good players we've got Cabrian Hayes O'Neal Cruz we've got Nick Gonzalez I mean Outside of that, their big free agency pickup this year was Wilmer Defoe or Defoe, however you pronounce his name. But like the team just doesn't look fantastic at all. So there's that. I need to show you the draft picks that we had. We had a really good draft. Um, we had Brian Chin, A potential, so that's 90 plus. We got David Choi, 90 plus potential. He's up to a 65 overall. We have Joaquin Rodriguez with 90 potential, which is great to see. And then we had one more which had good potential and Estevan Garcia. He has 80 plus potential. Will we see all these guys? Probably not. We'll probably see Chin, maybe Choi by season three. And then same thing with Rodriguez, maybe him by season three. So we'll have to wait and see how things pan out. This season's more of, let's just pick up a couple like filler players, let them hold the spot down to the deadline and make some trades at the deadline and also at the start of the season. So I'll see you guys then. So I said, I. I know I said I wasn't going to try to get pieces that'll help us win immediately, but this might be something that I can't pass up. Framber Valdez of the Astros for Polanco Brault and Kevin Kramer. I don't have those three players in my like future for this team at all, so I'm going to take it, especially since I know I need starting pitching. Like it's just it's needed. I'm not even sure I'll keep Jamison Tyone because like I I just I don't know, especially because so be, especially because he'll become a free agent at the end of the rebuild the last year of this rebuild i don't know if he really fits like if if he's worth keeping when we might be able to trade him for something a little bit better like you you see what i'm rocking with i had to sign julio tehran to fill out the roster like that's that's kind of what we're, we're we're whoa what we're working with jeez jeez all right so let me let me see what else we can get here um I would love to get another starting pitcher. Paul Blackburn was garbage. What about Chris Bassett? It sounds terrible. I mean, I might just save Brubaker for a trade. I want to get rid of Austin Davis because I'm not going to use him. And I don't like Kyle Crick at all on franchise. So let's go get a reliever right now. Let's just see what we can get here. What would be... 
What would be something that would be good to get? Mm. Let's see. Can we get anything from the raid? I don't want Craig Stammon, but maybe like a John Curtis. We'll do that. All right. There, there. That works. I mean, that's fine with me. And then looking at the rest of the team. I mean, we have like so many like second base, third base, shortstop combination players. I, I signed a couple center fielders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these two. I signed them to long-term deals. I don't really even need them. And let me see if I can just get where I mean, might just get a outfielder, right? Because like we'll have center. Yeah, we could use. Yeah, let's get like maybe like a power bat. Someone that has a little bit of pop. Someone that could help us out. And his, ooh, Yastrzemski is a little bit out. And I only want to get rid of those two for now. I don't really want to just get rid of everybody. That's that's one thing as well. So, like, Cole Calhoun's not worth it because he's kind of older. He's not going to get much better. Don't want to trade within the division. So, man, who could we add that would be nice? Kyle Tucker would be great, but, you know, that's, that's not happening. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to look around so I can find it. All right, I know I said I only wanted to get rid of those two guys, but I'm going to get Renato Nunez. It, it's it's a good power bat. It fits perfectly. That's exactly what we need. Renato Nunez in the team. All right, so let's talk about this team because it's not good. We're ranked 25th. Makes sense. You're going to see it and you're going to go, yeah, this team's pretty bad. So we got Tyone Cool, Keller, Julio Tehran, one-year deal, 3.5 mil. Probably going to trade him at the deadline. We'll wait and see. I need to move Valdez up. So it's actually probably going to look something like this. We look at the bullpen. Nate Jones was brought in. One year deal. I might trade him. I might not even trade any of these players at the deadline. Some of them might actually stay with the team. Who knows? Petit was signed on a one year deal. Three mil. And then Keenan Middleton was brought in on a one year deal. His season wasn't too bad. last. Actually, it was a three year deal. Because I thought 27 years old. B potential. 72 overall. We'll give him a shot. See how things go. I might let Edgar Santana close things out. And we'll go like this for the bullpen. Maybe maybe like this. I'm still thinking about it. I don't really know. And then when you look at the lineup. Uh, yeah. I mean, realistically, it's not good. It's just not. You know, there's just... It's just it's just meh at best. Um, What I would like to do is realistically, I would like to move Brian Reynolds out into like left field. But then where does Nunez go? Because he's like a first, third, like he's a corner guy. So we can't really do that. So Reynolds might actually stay in center since we do have Cabrian Hayes. Don't want to move him. Colin Moran, we'll wait and see. He does become, oh, he actually doesn't become a free agent. So we'll keep him this whole time as long as he does well. I don't know. It's It just really depends on how players perform. If they do well, we'll keep them. If not, then we'll just have to look in other areas around the league trade free agency whatever it is our budgets at a million we don't really have a big budget to really work with in the first place so it's not like i can go out and spend stupid amount of money i can really only afford like one maybe two big contracts before i'm like completely wiped out on the budget so it just really depends on how things go i might go crazy and make a bunch of trades at the deadline so we'll have to wait and see I'll see you guys at maybe the deadline, maybe at the end of the season. Surprisingly, we're actually not doing terribly. You know, we're in third. We're not like we're not a playoff team. That that's what I'm trying to say. But pitching, pitching, huh? Julio Tehran, talk about a season. Um, I am I am gonna trade a couple of these older players, like these older pitchers, just because I know they're not gonna hold the rating, and I'd rather get some younger guys in. But offensively, we are terrible. I'm going to try to get rid of some of these guys. I'm going to try to get some sneaky bats that can help us out in the lineup. You know, like Kevin Pilar, I'm going to try to get rid of. Adam Frazier or Kevin Newman, I'm going to try to get run, get rid of at least one of them. And I don't really know where else to go with the team. Um, we do have like O'Neal Cruz, who looks like he's doing really well in AAA. But I still think he's at least another season away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what's on the trade block. And... Huh. Cabrian Hayes can only really play third base. And I don't really I it would it would be great to get him. Like I don't understand why these two are on the trade block or Matt Olson to be honest. So let's see what else. Willie Adamas, dude. Willie Adamas. 
how difficult is it going to be to get Willy Adamas? Also, did Cabrian Hayes' potential go down? Why? He's not having too bad of a season. That's disappointing. All right, so how hard is it to gonna get Willy Adamas? Actually, it doesn't look like it will be too difficult. Ooh, we might... I said Kevin Newman or Adam Frazier. So it looks like Newman's got a little bit more value. I don't really want to trade Nick Gonzalez. I feel like that's getting rid of just too much. What about Brennan Malone? Brennan Malone actually makes the deal like really easy. So Brennan Malone, and then I could probably keep Swaggerty and give him something else. Because I'm not going to use Brennan Malone, to be honest. I just don't think he's going to be good enough, quick enough. To get Willie Adamas this little... I'm going to take that trade. That's just too good to pass up. Okay, so that's our new shortstop. I got rid of one of the the players that I mentioned, which actually works out perfectly. Like, then I can move the lineup around a little bit more. But that adds a, a really solid bat to the lineup. I still want to get rid of Kevin Pillar, try to find at least another outfielder, or maybe even like a, a bullpen arm. And then, I don't know about Adam Frazier just yet. And so, yeah, let's... Let's trade some of these aging bullpen arms, you know, like Petit, you know, he's just not going to hold his rating. And I feel like I can get someone pretty similar in rating and like a, it, just ability. So let me trade like Petit, Jones, and then Pilar. And I'll show you what those deals are. So Pilar and Alford are going to give me Michael Givens, super cheap option and the bullpen does well. So now let's get rid of those two other players that I'm just, just not going to use. All right, Michael Perez and the two aging pitchers are going to give us Steven Piscotty. I mean, it's not the best outfield option, but I was looking around the league and I'm just trying to find someone that like could potentially give us decent hitting and be super cheap. And then we could spend the money on like pitching or other areas of the team. Yeah, I could go out and get Cole Calhoun like I, I normally have been doing, but he's a little bit older than Piscotty. And for some reason, I just feel like Piscotty is going to be a decent pickup for us like his contract is what six seven million for the next couple seasons and to get rid of those guys i'll take this trade all day i think we're fine so i do need to sign a couple players to fill out the the roster which they're most likely what i do is i just go down here i do this and then just fill out the roster so i'm gonna do that um i'm gonna show you the team now um i'm gonna call up where is he i'm gonna call up michael feliz to finish the season and that's perfectly fine and then the lineup is going to look like, where is he? Piscotti's going to slide in right there at right field. I'm probably going to swap these two. And this is probably going to be our, our lineup. I mean, I feel pretty comfortable with the moves we made. Not too bad. Yeah, we could have maybe gone out and got a little bit better pitching help. But the pitching's actually going pretty well. So I felt like let's leave it for now. We'll spend the money where we need to in the offseason. And then we'll just build from there. So with the season over, we finished 70 and 92. Like I said, we're not a good team. Didn't expect us to make the postseason, and that's fine. I wanted to pick up a couple players that I thought were going to be good and help us out. Jed Jerko led the league in batting batting average. So we all know this, this rebuild is going to go wonky as it is. I mean, Trevor Bauer signed with the, the Brewers, which... Excuse me? Excuse me? What's going on here? This is this is absolutely insane. So, all right. Let's, let's take a look. Let's see how things finish the year so brew baker had a tough second half of the season we've got john curtis who was a good pickup for us richard rodriguez keenan middleton struggled a little bit michael feliz michael givens and then edgar santana so overall i'm pretty happy with the way the bullpen looks and then looking at the starting rotation it looks like some players had a tough second half but you know what i'm pretty happy with that pretty happy with that indeed and then looking at the lineup the bench was it was okay. It looks like Almora was probably our best bench bat, even though he only had 27 at bats. But in terms of like home runs, run production, things like that. So Brian Reynolds, good year. Love to see it. You've got Willie Adamas, who I think is going to be a great pickup for us. Renato Nunez, 40 home runs. Love it. Love it. You've got Colin Moran, who, who's doing okay. I would expect a little bit better, but I'm not going to be too upset by it. Brian Hayes is struggling a little bit. Um... Maybe focus on that vision and discipline for training. See if that helps him out. Steven Piscotty had a decent year. Christian Walker was, was all right as a DH. Adam Frazier, probably a player I'm going to look to get rid of. 
or maybe just have him be a backup because he's just not great. Same thing with Jacob Stallings and then back to the top of the lineup. So looking at our farm system, I think O'Neal Cruz needs at least one more year. And then looking at some of the other players, I don't know. I just don't see anybody being ready just yet. And then we have a couple players that we drafted who could potentially come up in a season or two. Let's see. I'm pretty sure they're they're sitting here. So we got a 71 overall who I'll definitely throw into like AAA. We've got him who's up to a 69 overall. Um, okay. So we got a, got a couple names to look out for, but not not too bad so far. So off season wise, the Angels defeat the Brewers. Talk about a, a crazy matchup for a World Series. But um, okay, off season. Make this quick. Givens definitely gonna bring him back. I'm gonna do two years, just two years, no club option this time. Julio Tehran though, um, I'm actually just, I'm just gonna give him a year. I'm gonna give him a rotation spot, three mil. See how it goes. If it goes poorly, that's fine. Like I just want him to be the five in the rotation, especially if we can't pick up anybody else because there's just no other good options. Looking at this. I don't really see anybody there that I'd lose and I'd get too upset with. Arbitration, definitely going to give it to everybody. Yeah, everybody's getting it there. Contracts, everybody's getting a contract. And then free agency. Where can we turn this team around? A second baseman? Just because I said O'Neal Cruz isn't ready just yet. We have Willie Adamas. O'Neal Cruz is probably going to be like... And if, I just don't think O'Neal Cruz is going to be ready at all. He might end up being a, like a bench bat before we ease him into the team. So, catcher, definitely. But I think the big area I want to spend some money is maybe maybe here. Maybe add a really good bullpen arm or two. Maybe a good starter. Let's see here. Because Syndergaard, Syndergaard, I think is probably our best bet. Maybe Zach Davies if we want to be cheap about it. Um, bullpen, I definitely want to pick up one or two arms. And then looking at the options available here... Um, I don't even think we'll spend a lot of money offensively because don't need a shortstop. We got Adamas. Could we go out and get like Eddie Rosario? Yeah, but like they're not necessary. So I think we're just going to be smart with our money. Maybe make a couple more trades again. But season two, I think we're in a good spot. All right, I'm going to pick up one of the top catching prospects in Joey Bart. I was looking around the league. Who else could we get? Maybe Campusano. Nope, can't get him. And I was looking around where else? Who else? What else? Anybody else? Mitch Garver is a potential pickup, which is he the move? Is Mitch Garver the move now that I'm thinking about it? I also looked at Sean Murphy, who actually had a, a decent year last year. Like I'm I'm kind of in on Sean Murphy. I don't think we've ever had him before. And I was trying to think of who I could trade to make this happen. And without getting rid of like one of these two, I don't think we can. Ooh. Okay. 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 Now we're now we're cooking with gas here. You know we're cooking we're cooking with uh, a lot of stuff. Ooh. Hold on. We might make this happen now. Who? Are we gonna get rid of David Choi? David Choi isn't gonna feature, and we drafted him. So I mean. Training him might make... You know what? Let's get Sean Murphy. I've never had Sean Murphy before. He actually looks kind of decent. He's had two good seasons. I'm in on it. I'm in on it. There we go. There's our new catcher, Sean Murphy. Okay, so now that kind of helps. Not really, because I didn't really get rid of Jacob Stallings like I wanted to. But um, I'm going to move Cole Tucker to... Ooh, I might let Eric Gonzalez start at second base. And Cole Tucker, I moved him to second base. I feel like Cole Tucker fits the infield a little bit more than the outfield. I know they're trying to make him like a, a big utility guy, but I'm going to trade. I'm going to move Cole Tucker to the infield. Now I'm going to trade one of our catchers. I'm pretty sure both become free agents at the end of the year anyways. What could we use? Another starting pitcher? I don't know. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trade Jacob Stallings. Maybe get rid of Richard Rodriguez because he did he did do well, but I don't think he's gonna do well once again. And who John Brebia? John Brebia's like okay. That was a super easy trade. So who else could I get that's gonna help us out? What about Josh Taylor? And then I give you Richard Rodriguez. And I also give you someone else that I'm not gonna use, which is going to be Jose Osuna, which saves us a little bit of money. Boom. There we are. There's the trade. 
I I'm liking what we're doing here. I'm liking what we're doing here a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So brought in Zach Davies. He was kind of a, a cheaper option. 5.6 mil is nothing for a starter. I really like this pickup. I'm not 100% sure on Jamison Tyone. This is the make or break season for him. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, don't let him walk in free agency. I might just let him walk in free agency if I don't like what I see from him. And then Keller, cool. Again, not 100% sure on them. And then the lineup. I like the lineup. I like the lineup. Um, I did bring back Andrew McCutcheon on a two-year deal. So he's here for the rest of the rebuild. And I like the bench. I like the starting lineup. I think we could maybe add another like big bat, depending on how Steven Piscotti does. Or we can spend money on a new second baseman, depending on how Eric Gonzalez does. But I like this lineup a lot. I think we're heading in the right direction. I think we're going to be like still ranked in the 20th. Let me get to the regular season. We are ranked 17th, actually, which is a big step in the right direction. So let's get through the season, see how season two goes. So we won the division, which... Okay, 93 and 69. Nice. So, two changes that I made at the deadline. So, I want to talk about those. Didn't show you them. Um, I signed Tyone to a extension. He had a pretty solid season. I figured let's just keep him. And then the other move I made was I sent down Keenan Middleton and I brought up Michael Feliz. That, that was it. That was the only changes that I made to the lineup. So, otherwise, everything else stayed the same. The team looks pretty solid. And I'm pretty happy with what we did. We, we won the division. That's a huge step in the right direction. Framber Valdez won a gold glove, and that's it. So looking at the rest of the league, what do we got here? Ian Happ with the batting title. Jordan back on top. Okay. Reliever of the year. Joey Bart was rookie of the year. Hmm. Should we have gone for him? Should we have gone for him? That's uh, interesting. So Julio Tehran. I mean, he's just outperforming any expectations that I had for him. Uh, John Curtis is doing well. Josh Taylor, okay. Michael Feliz. Given struggled, so I did give him that two years, and now I'm kind of regretting it. Edgar Santana. And then Dan Winkler, I forgot to mention, I did sign him to a kind of a bigger deal. It was like $7 million. Um, Yeah, he wasn't good. That's not good. That is not good at all. So, uh, Tyone did well. You've got Valdez, Davies, Keller struggled a bit, and he's been the one that's struggling the most out of all the pitchers. So I don't know. Do I let him walk in free agency, not give him arbitration, and then just sign somebody else? Is that something that I would, you know, is that what's gonna happen? I think it might because like Keller's just he's just not doing it, just not doing it. Brian Reynolds, kind of the same thing. Maybe we need to lower him in the the lineup. Maybe get a really good leadoff guy. Willie Adamas, great season. Nunez is still putting up stupid good numbers. So we got one more year of him. Thank God. Uh, Colin Moran, 40 home runs. Okay. Love seeing that. Cabrian Hayes. Ah, man. Maybe maybe I do need to train that vision discipline. Um, I, I focus on contact this season, but maybe, maybe it is vi vision and discipline that I definitely need to work on steven piscotti had a great season i'm actually liking this pickup this is a really solid pickup we've got christian walker still kind of our dh bench bat sean murphy 27 home runs as a catcher this is okay i like that move and eric gonzalez he's not bad he's not bad but i want i want a little bit better so who could potentially get called up probably gonna call him up be a bench bat actually yeah probably uh, O'Neal Cruz will probably get called up. He'll probably replace uh, Defoe. And then, ooh, where does Rodriguez fit in? Maybe instead of Christian Walker, Rodriguez fills that spot. And anybody else getting the call up? Doesn't look like it. So, all right. Um, pitching wise, this guy was signed in free agency. Not going to use him. He's just not going to be good enough. Is Chin good enough no he might get traded he's just not developing at all so all right we're in the postseason though so we're taking on the phillies sweep them sweep the phillies and uh man i've been holding back this sneeze like all rebuild and it just will not come out and i'm about to lose it like my i keep like sniffling i keep like going like this because maybe it'll go away no 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 no. like this this sneeze is here to haunt me throughout this rebuild we are one game away from a World Series. Oh, man. 
We won. We're in the World Series. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so Zach Davies is starting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. Boom. And then Chad Cool is going to go there. And then Keller. So that's going to be my five for the World Series against the Boston Red Sox. And we are in a tough spot. I'm going to get... I'm going to get Ty. Ooh, Zach Davies is doing really well. I have I have the faith. Yes. And then Tyone for game seven. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to quick manage this one because this, this is important. And they won 103 games, these Red Sox. So this is a good matchup against Erod and the Red Sox. Let's see how we do here. We're threatening. We weren't able to score. Looking at their team, they got belt. That's a big pickup. But outside of that, it looks like a pretty standard Red Sox team. So I wonder how they did so well. There we go. Two runs thanks to Brian Reynolds. And okay. So far, so good. If we can just extend on the lead, that would be huge. It's still 2 0. Tyone's pitching well. Can we just. I, I want like two more runs just to be safe. Just two more. Can we do it? Come on. Give us, give us some support here. Can't. Oh, come on. Come on. Give us. Just give us some insurance. Alrighty, so far so good. A single fielder's choice, an error. I, ca I can't keep him in. We're gonna go. Josh Taylor against his former team gets out of the inning. Yes, there we go. And a solo home run from Cole Tucker. Are you kidding me? Then a two-run shot by Willie Adamas. That's gotta be. That's gotta be the game, right? Like we're just tacking on more and more and more. And you know what? Since we do have a couple lefties coming up in the lineup. I was like, maybe we just keep him in. So let's bring in Edgar Santana. Shuts the door. Pirates win a World Series in Season 2. Are you kidding me? Who was MVP? Sean Murphy. And then the World Series MVP was Cabrian Hayes. There we go. You love to see it. And of course, you know why we won the World Series? Because you all remembered to hit that like button. That's what it was. So here we are. How are we going to approach this offseason? So Wilmer No. I guess we can bring him back as like a backup option. He wants a lot of money for being a backup catcher, which in real life, you know, seven mil or five mil or whatever it was, not really that much for a backup. Hold on. I'm going to make this offer again. I'm going to give him two years, 10 mil. And it says he wants to play for a contender. We just won a World Series. What do you mean you want to play for a contender? We just won a World Series. Um, Tehran has been really good. How... I'll give him a, he's not going to be in the rotation though, but I'll give him, I'll give him that long relief roll again. Chad Cool. I'm going to let walk. Eric Gonzalez has been sneaky good for us. He'll probably be a platoon guy. So I'm going to lower this, see if he takes it. I'll even give him a player option to boost it up a little bit. See how that goes. Let's keep moving forward into the, the off season. Let's see what we got here. Eh. Um, arbitration. I said, <sighs> do we bring back Mitch Keller just to trade him? I think that's what it is. A potential is just too much to let go. Um, but I'm not going to give it to Christian Walker, but I'm going to give it to everybody else and contracts. Everybody's getting one free agency. I would love to get a new pitcher. Just can't afford to do it. We don't, I just don't want to spend a lot of money. So what I said was, Walker is going to get replaced by Joaquin Rodriguez. O'Neill Cruz is probably going to get called up as well. So we really don't have any place to really get a new player unless we trade somebody, which we could trade Eric Gonzalez like right now, like, and then see if there's like a really good middle infielder available. I mean, there are a couple good ones right here. Ooh, I kind of want to sign one of these two guys and then move Adamas to sh uh, second base. I'm trading Mitch Keller for Brady Singer in the third season, the final season. And then I'm going to get, I'm going to try to get like a leadoff type hitter because I want to move Brian Reynolds down in the lineup. I just don't know who to get. I couldn't get Trey Turner or um, who was the other one? Dansby Swanson. I got that. We're not a contender situation and I would have had to pay way too much money so it was just just wasn't possible so who could i get jeff mcneil has is jeff mcneil 
doesn't look like he's a possibility. What about... Is there anybody that... We'd have to get rid of Nick Gonzalez. And Nick Gonzalez doesn't look like he's really developing. I'm actually down for this. What if I throw you... We could use an extra bullpen arm. What if I give you Keenan Middleton and you give us one of your bullpen arms? Oh, we can't get that deal. What about that one? No. Taylor Rogers, maybe? Can't get him either. So, what if I throw you Brian Chin? Can I then get one of your arms? Yes. Boom. There's the trade for our leadoff hitter, Luisa Reyes. I like that. So for the final season, this is the team. Tyone, Singer, Valdez, Davies, and then I brought in Kevin Gosman on a one-year deal, seven and a half million. He's actually been pretty, pretty, pretty good. Three, 3.4, 4.6, we won't pay attention to, but 2.8, I have faith, I have faith. Um, bullpen looks the exact same. We obviously just added Cody Stashik, and then the lineup, Luis Arias is the only change. I lied. Another change, we brought in that first baseman, or we brought up that first baseman, Joaquin Rodriguez, from the first year's draft, and I think that's really about it. Everything else is the same. I really like the team that we've put together here, and we're within budget, kind of. We're uh, 14th ranked. I'll show you within budget. Um, we are within budget. It's just a lot closer than I want it to be. It's just we've spread out the money pretty fairly throughout a bunch of different players. That's why it's kind of... Eh, it's kind of eh. So let's see how this final season goes. I'll see you at the end of it. So we won the division. We got better than last year. 102 and 60. We won the division. Like I said, we're taking on the winner of the wild card, I think it said. Okay. I'll take it. The best team in the National League. We're ranked eighth. We don't have a lot of power, but we have good contact, really good pitching. Apparently the worst defense and then um, the worst speed. So whatever you know what we're, we're winning games that's all that matters the white Sox and the red Sox are pretty good it looks like but you know what we're at the top love to see it willie adamas and luisa reyes for doubles and hits respectively and then no awards this is super disappointing freddie freeman back-to-back -back mvps bogart is up there zach gallon was actually a name that i considered to trade for for the starting pitcher um, when we traded mitch keller but you know what Oh, well. Oh, oh well. Um, Luis Arias was up there for the batting title. And then, okay. Some interesting names for sure. So, let's see how the pitching staff did. Julio Tehran had his worst year so far, but for two years of, like, pretty consistent pitching, I'm not going to freak out. John Curtis did disappoint a little bit. Josh Taylor was good. Stashik was outstanding. Michael Givens back to what he normally does. We got Edgar Santana, who did struggle a little bit, which sucks. But he gave us three really solid years, or I guess I should say two. And then Winkler just can't put it together. That sucks. I might move him out of that closing spot. Um, Tyone, solid. Brady Singer, ooh, we might have a super... Look at that cheap deal, too. Ooh, a superstar on the squad for the future. Valdez is good. Davies had his worst season with the team. Gosman wasn't too bad. You know what? As a five, definitely take that. You know what? On a super cheap deal as well. Let's take a look at the team. You've got O'Neill Cruz, Cole Tucker, the backup catcher, uh, John Ryan Murphy. Yeah, that's his name. Uh, Kutch on the team, you know, limited appearances, but he's doing his job. And then Almora. Almora's been a decent bench bat for us. And then when we take a look at the team, Arias had a great season. Love this pickup for us. You know, Adamas is doing great. You've got Nunez, Colin Moran's putting up great numbers. Cabrian Hayes is starting to take off. Love it. Uh, we've got Brian Reynolds. That's all we had to do was lower him in the road or in the lineup. Steven Piscotti had his worst year yet, but it was his final season. You definitely could use that money to strengthen the team with some of those contracts that are expiring. Sean Murphy's looking like a great catching pickup for us. And then Joaquin Rodriguez. I mean, talk about a first year. How is he not rookie of the year? He was outstanding. Probably didn't get enough at bats. That's why he wasn't considered a rookie. But final year. Here we go, taking on the Padres, swept them with ease. Now we're going on to the Braves. And um, let's see what we can do with this with this matchup. Boom, boom. Okay, two straight wins. Okay, we didn't sweep them there, but we're back into a World Series. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? So, Tyone is starting versus Noah Syndergaard and the Angels. 16 to 14? Are you kidding me? And then 12 to 1. Four to two, we didn't sweep them, but I am going to throw Tyone here because I, I I want this game. I want this series over. 
and um, I, I want I want the win. I want back to back World Series. Uh oh, uh oh, there it is. A twenty one to six. Talk about some offense. Sixteen runs, twelve runs. Then we went a little quiet with four, three, and four, but we finish it off twenty one to six. Who is the MVP here? Steven Piscotty for the playoffs and the World Series with eight RBIs. Are you kidding me? Let's take a look at the lineup. So we have 13, 9, 19. These are the post, like postseason, all of postseason. Um, but yeah, our offense really went off this postseason. I, I can see why. Holy cow. Love it. Two World Series with the worst team in baseball. Talk about a turnaround. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. And of course, get in the comment section. Tell me who you think the worst team in baseball is. That's about it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.